fucking one, man. Yeah. Uh, with that being said, everybody knows Caleb Plant once again, the 25th of March, and it's real. Like I can, when I was watching the press conference, man, I could see that the tension was real, especially on your end. What is it about Caleb Plant that made you go from zero to 100 when you saw him in that press conference? It felt like you was like, man, hey, we see each other now. Like, we can get it on. All, what, was it the things that he said, you know, throughout the years online? Or it was so, it just something you seeing him just, just clicked in you? Yeah, to be honest, I mean, in my head, I took myself already. I said, when I see this, it's go time. I'll give a fuck what he says. So when I seen him outside, you know, and then, you know, people like Showtime's going to be recording. So let me, I'm going to just express myself so the fans could enjoy it and have entertainment with it. In my head, I was just thinking anything goes. If he, this, this motherfucker tries to pull up on me, whatever, I'm going to let his ass have it. But that's what makes it so exciting that the people don't know if it, you know, they don't know what's going to happen. So when, by the time I got there, I mean, this is already, you know, build up tension from years and years and years. A lot of people saying I was emotional, but how can I not be? This is an emotional fight. This is my, my first big pay-per-view. This is my big press conference. This is something I wanted for for a long, long time. I mean, you guys know me. You guys know why you, you guys know how I perform when I'm in the ring. So for them telling me that I'm just like somebody that just goes in there and just like, you know, is too emotional, doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, this is all for a reason. You think I'm going to go in there super emotional just looking for one shot on the fight? I've never done that. So why would I start to do that now? So I feel like a lot of people – and then the good thing about Caleb Plant is he's 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 smart, bro. Like, he's a, he's a fucking pussy, but he's smart. He wants to play the character of the good guy, making – like, acting like he's cool, calm, and collective, bro. But when I see him, when his, when his, when his trainer was talking, why was he talking so low? They have no fucking confidence. The reason I was saying Caleb Plant looked like he was about to cry because when I was writing, I'm sitting, he's sitting, standing up here, and I'm sitting right here in the press conference. His eyes are watery as f You know what I mean? He, where was that, where was all that? F where was that energy when he had with Canelo? Where, how come he wasn't doing that? Sh he was doing with me. You know what I mean? He should, now he's calm, cool, cool, calm, collective because he knows that once you try to act crazy with the dude that's really actually about that, they're not gonna let that shit pass, and I'm gonna smack the fuck out of you, just like Canelo smacked the f out of him. So now he's trying to play like, oh, and now he's not he, he's not really doing that. He's focused, this and that. But he's because he's scared. He's a hundred percent scared of me. I know you guys seen it. You know, um, I, I and then I do um I'll, I'll admit that you know some of the, the stuff I did, I was you know, kind of running off of emotion, but that's a press conference. That's what I'm saying. This is the biggest moment of my life. How I'm not how am I not gonna be emotional about this? A person like me, I really care about what I do. And I'm in love with the sport and I'm really passionate about what I do. How am I not going to be emotional? I seen that. And like, I think now a lot of fans and people in boxing, they forget this is a combat sport. When I was growing up, like it wasn't nothing to see fights in the press conference. You know, it just, yeah. they actually use that to promote the fights to be bigger. Like you got like um, Bernard Hopkins in Trinidad. Bernard Hopkins in Trinidad. The press conference too. Reddick Bo and, and uh Donald's Larry Donaldson. Reddick yeah. Bo hit him with a two piece. So and like then you, re not... you remember you remember when when uh what's his name? Joe Lewis pulled out the gun and shot at Muhammad Ali with the blanks. Yeah, like, man. Is, so is this shit like, like that, bro? Like, I don't understand why 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 are people so mad? Like it's entertainment for you guys. Why is it that the UFC has all the most lit press conference motherfuckers are fighting here and motherfuckers fighting there? When it comes to boxing, nobody wants to say nothing. You know what I mean? Right. Like, this is what sells the fights, and this is what makes things interesting. I mean, for me as a fan, I like shit. I like to see shit like that. You know, I like to see fighters go at it because they're fighters at the end of the day. That's what they do. Yeah, definitely. And, and that's what I was saying. I'm like, why is everybody so sensitive? This is a combat sport. Like, this is not ice skating. This is yeah. not tennis. It's a combat sport, man. And I actually did a live stream on my channel afterwards in – I'm a, I'm a Caleb Plant fan. I'm a big fan of you. So, you know, I'm a fan of both of you guys. Huge fans of both of you. And like I said, man, when y'all fight, I was like, I'm going to just sit back and be a fan. You know, it's yeah. the best fight and the best a fight that we've been waiting for for the past five or six years. Yeah. And when I did my live stream, man, I hated to say it, but I was like, hey, Caleb Plant didn't have the same energy that I'm used to seeing him having. Like, he's usually, like, if you give him that type of energy, 
he right back at you. And I don't know. I could be wrong, but it kind of seemed like he was kind of watching his tone with you, watching, you know, what he said to you. And, and it, it's just funny, too, because when he was talking, he's like, man, I, I never said you were a sheep. I said you're a wolf, too. You are a wolf. Like, like we don't say that. You don't. I don't tell another fighter, bro, you're good. Like, you're down. You're, you're out. You don't say that. Press conference is for you. If you tell me me is cool, we could do somebody right now. And that's how it's supposed to be. I mean, I would never... I mean, I don't know. That's just me. I mean, uh, Caleb can do whatever point he wants. He knows what's coming. I've been working my ass off, man. This is this is my moment, and I'm definitely going to take full advantage of it. Man, you look in uh, shape already, man. You already look at this shape. I know you've been training since because you were supposed to have a fight in January, right? Yeah. So I've been. So even when I train, when I when I I I um. I take breaks. I only take like three weeks off. I'm always in the gym. I, I love mm -hmm. boxing, man. I love everything that comes with it. I'm even in there. I'm teaching my guys a lot of stuff. I like to be involved into boxing, you know, even if I'm not training. But I mean, I, I stayed training. I was already in training camp since like um, September. Mm -hmm. But then obviously, you know, the fight, I got the fight with Caleb. So, you know, you got to know how to work your body. You know, you give your body rest and, you know, you know yourself better than ever, anybody. So, I mean, I've been working, bro. Like I said, I got to 12 rounds. I got to 12 rounds with four different guys. I could have went 15. We got six weeks left in training camp. You know what I mean? Um, it's, I'm, I'm, like I've said, man, everything is mentally, physically, I'm, I'm there, man. I'm, I'm very excited. I know this could change my life forever. So, I'm, like I said, I'm going to take full advantage of this, of this shot and this opportunity. And I definitely do want to be a, be a pay-per-view star. And that's exactly what's going to happen. And I know this, man you one of the very few fighters that, like, you don't never gas out. It's like, as the rounds go on, it looks like you get stronger and stronger. And I know you ain't going to give up the secret sauce, but does that have the, a lot to do with the way that you train? To be honest, there is no secret sauce. It's just you work every single day. If you got a three-month training camp, you're going to have to leave it all in the ring or in the gym that for three months. And that's really all I do, bro. I run a lot. Um so and with the training camp, I'll do like six miles every time I run. So like 20, 20 something miles a week. By three months come around, I'll be like around 200, 300 miles ran. So, I mean, there's, you can't, you, there's no shortcuts like that. You definitely have to put in the work. And then after that, we'll do rounds and rounds and rounds of sparring, strength and conditioning. We'll do have like three hour training sessions. So, I mean, there's, there's no shortcut in this. It's either how, it's, it's, it's how bad you want it. And that's the other thing too. I've seen a lot of people there. A lot of people think that, I don't know. They just, they see Caleb Plant. They know he gasses out, you know, towards the middle of the fight, towards round nine, he's gassed out. Mm -hmm. Me round nine, I'm barely picking up. I'm catching my second win and I'm putting in work. So, I mean, a lot of people say that I'm going to get all boxed. The Caleb plan is too much for me. I'm never letting nobody all box me. Never, never. Not, not in sparring, not in training, not none of that. Not in my fights. Everybody I put my hands on, I've hurt. I have 26 fights with 23 knockouts. I'm in a six or seven fight knockout streak. I might have a hell of a gas tank. I throw punches and bunches. I have great body shots. So, I mean, I don't understand these people just think I'm just like a big target or something. But it's cool. The more they doubt me, the more fuel it gives me and the more motivation I get. If you like this video and you want to hear the rest of it, make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon because I will be dropping more of this fire interview with David Benavidez.